am Claudia Leal. I am a professor in the Department of History at Universidad de los Andes. I'm a geographer, got my degree in Berkeley, so I teach both history and geography. And I'm at the Carson Center this year working on a project entitled Landscapes of Freedom. I study the Pacific coast of Colombia, which is the black region of Colombia, in the period between 1850 and 1930, so that's right after the abolition of slavery. And I look at two issues. It's how a free society came about from a slave society. So what did freedom mean in this region? And that has a lot to do with the way this society related to the environment, which is a rainforest environment, extremely humid. The other thing I examine is uh, the landscape that was produced in the process during this period and how it was read by mainly elites at, uh, at that time. Well, what I do, kind of following the call of some environmental historians, is use environmental history as a lens to read the past not to read necessarily environmental issues. Here I'm interested in freedom and in, I'm interested in the transition from slavery to freedom. And I look at the way the landscape is transformed and at the way the landscape is managed as a way of understanding the creation of this society. So it's a mixture of, if you wish, post-emancipation studies or racial studies and environmental history, or even we could say historical political ecology. I'd say the general way in which this society has related to the jungle has been by having an extractive economy. And what that means is the people living there have extracted natural resources to be sold for the market, not only for subsistence. But the way this extractive economy has worked has changed through time, and a major change occurred with freedom. So instead of slaves, what you had were independent producers. You had independent black people who mined gold, platinum, or extracted um, nuts, rubber, from the forest, and they sold that to a very small white elite that lived in very small towns and exported them. They have complete control over this extraction process, and they also have complete control, almost complete control, over the, the territory. So not, no control over a little plot of land to produce, say, manioc, but control over a large forested territory in which they could gather, let's say, timber to build their houses, to build canoes and whatnot. So freedom acquired its meaning in this context of this particular political economy of extraction. They were autonomous in the process of production, which was a process of extraction in this forest, but they also had control over the, over the territory and not simply control of little plots of land. So freedom meant much more for these heirs of slaves than for heirs of slaves elsewhere in the Americas.